waitress in Knoxville, Tennessee was providing the check for one of her customers. And it turns out that that customer was an avid Trump supporter. Little did she know that since he was a Trump supporter, he would be very, very offended at the fact that she presented the check with a pen supporting Bernie Sanders. So instead of leaving her a tip, he left her a pretty cruel message. And I want to read that to you. Uh, the message on the receipt said, make America great again. I wouldn't steal this pen if it was the last one on earth, Trump. If you vote for Bernie, you should also give one of those dollars to the poor. Here's a picture of the receipt showing you uh, what he scribbled on it. Now, at this point, it seems unclear whether or not he left a tip. At least that's according to, uh, you know, reports about it. But I feel like just looking at the receipt There's makes no it pretty way. clear. There's no tip. It's empty. Um, anyway, usually these stories pop up. They're shared on Reddit, and then it turns out that they're not true. But the restaurant's manager confirmed this story. Uh, the restaurant is Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria. And... You know, I think that this is kind of interesting because there's a political component to it. Now, the restaurant itself has not endorsed any candidate. However, they do allow local Bernie supporters to hold events at the restaurant. Lots of restaurants do that. That doesn't mean that they have any type of political affiliation. Yeah, they also let people throw, like, company parties, I'm sure. That happens you know? all the time, exactly. Um, but, you know, there's some question as to whether or not the waitress is at fault for presenting him with a Bernie pen. This is just my speculation. I don't think that she did that intentionally. I think that since there's Bernie events happening at the restaurant, maybe there were Bernie pens laying around and she just grabbed one. No one really thinks about those things ahead of time. But his response was just so over the top. Over the top. I'll say that Annette's response was stupid. Annette being the server. The guy didn't write any numbers down in the tip line. Yeah. Nor did he scratch it out. So you just put a $10 in there. <laughs> And Put a one in front of the eight, <laughs> Damn. and you got eighteen dollars and thirty-five cents. Tell that guy to come prove you wrong. Uh, that's a good he way says, to get fired as a server. Actually. If you if you were for Bernie, you should also give one of these dollars to the poor. So what I'm saying is, take ten dollars. You prove he wrote one of these dollars. He apparently also doesn't understand how um, a lack of tip works, right? So if you're not tipping the waitress, she can't do anything with the dollars that, that you you've don't paid. give her. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, he, anyway, he's an idiot. I wouldn't steal this pen if it was the last one on earth. Good for you, dude. It didn't ask. It's just yeah, well, it's wait, so remember great. A few days like, ago, the the artist who did the Trump micro penis painting uh, was attacked and beaten as she walked down the street. This just shows a lot of insecurity because yeah. neither of those two things I think I would say this one is probably not intentional neither of them were violent neither of them were they were okay they weren't very nice but they weren't violent or aggressive or, or that level it had yeah. to be taken there to this you know hitting someone is is just on such a different and a stupid level than yeah. any other kind of protest when you're a server, you have four pens at the beginning of the day, one pen at the end of the day, and the process of giving someone the pen is this. You don't even look. You just go into your pocket, <gasps> and you pull out, and then you just hand it over. Yeah. Like, there's not a lot going into the process. But what's incredible is how, how divided we are as a country, right, where you get offended at the mere thought of someone giving you a pen, endorsing the candidate that you don't want. Right? Like, if someone gave me a Trump pen, my first thought wouldn't be, oh, I'm going to fuck that guy up. Right? <laughs> if someone gave me a Trump, Trump pen, I'd be like, oh, well, I would think about, you know, all the different possibilities. Oh, this is a waitress. She probably didn't even think about it. Whatever. Let me move on with my life. I've been in conversations with people that I know who are Trump fans. And my reaction to it is, all right, let's change the subject because I don't want to hate you for the rest of my life. Right? Um, but it's not... Oh, let me give you a piece of my mind. Like, let me get really aggressive with you, right? These are human beings. I get aggressive on the show because I'm passionate about these topics, but I don't go after people and try to, like, either physically harm them or jip them out of a tip or just be cruel to them. Yeah, and your central thesis is make America great again. <laughs> this isn't great. This is really <laughs> shitty. Not tipping waitresses is not a way to make America great again. It's a way to be really shitty. So just, if you want to make America great, act like it.